Hello and welcome back. So connected to our AMC 325 is a cheap uh, one dollar uh, USB to serial adapter that you can purchase on eBay. Uh, it is based on the CH340 and I'll show you that here in a second. We're going to go into um, device manager. This is uh, Windows Vista 32-bit and so you gotta hit OK anytime we do anything. And if we go to our COM port here, you can see USB serial adapter, CH340, COM1. And we're going to see how well this works with these old bursts of programs. And you'll have to bear with me because I'm holding my camera, or my cell phone, and I'm going to try typing at the same time. And... Uh, one hand in here. <laughs> so we're going to try Monlog first. And if you don't have these programs, you can download them off the website. So we're going to run it. We're set up for COM1 and we're waiting connection. We're going to go flip on the drive. And you'll see here in a second that it crashed. <laughs> That's because it tried to go to COM2. So um, we're going to run that again, but this time we're going to force it to COM1 by typing a 1 afterwards. And we've got the drive on already, so just go ahead and hit go, and we'll see if it comes up. And, yep, there you go. And now we've got all of our data here. We can move the... Uh, pots around. Uh, I can actually put it in gear. This, will, this should work. I can actually spin the drive here. And you've noticed one interesting thing with the drive running. We're not getting any data anymore. So yeah, the, the C30 ones, 340s, are very finicky. They don't work very well at all so go ahead and turn that off but yeah we're not we didn't get any data back from it it kind of locked up here so we can hit f10 we'll kill that and then of course we get another error message driver does not support selected baud rate 4800 even though it was running it yeah um so the the ch 341s have issues and um if we go to the uh AMC program, uh, we're going to force COM1 again, and it's going to pop up and tell me to, yeah, it just crashed. So, it, these ones just don't work. Yeah. So the CH340 based ones, just avoid them. And the problem is, is that when I bought them, they actually said that they were um, uh, prolific PL2303s, but they're not. They're they're obviously counterfeit. So yeah, when it's too good to be true and it costs you a dollar, if it looks like this, it's junk. Don't don't buy it. So anyways, uh, that's it for the CH341, and we will throw on. Uh, uh, let's see what would be next. Let's do uh, the prolific from Insignia. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.